Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? It's me, Worst Heavy Gamer, guys, but shh, keep it quiet because I am incognito, guys. I'm trying to get away from the law. That's right. I am wanted in half the states in the country and in the other half states, I'm not wanted because I'm on the wanted list on the other one. So that's where we're at right now, guys. And I bring you guys some more epic summoners today and we're going to have a good time, guys. We're going to go around... Talk about the events that were just happening right now. And there's a new heroes that dropped. Not just one, but two new heroes. So let's go ahead. Let's break them down for you right now. They're pretty cool, actually. So let's see. Uh, where are we going to begin? So let's start off right here with the Fruit Master event. Check it out. I was very impatient, guys. I apologize. I'm very, very impatient. I couldn't wait any longer. So I used up pretty much uh, most... Uh, I pretty much used up all of my fruit... But I really want to go for the maximum here because I'm only 22 away. The only way I can do that is to keep exchanging here. Because the way they ran this event is they did not have any purchase fruit. Which is kind of dumb as hell. Why run a fruit event if you cannot purchase any of them? Which is so weird. But the only way to do it is to maybe purchase and then use these Easter eggs. Right? And then go over here. Right, and buy more fruit, which is very costly, so I don't recommend you do it. But if you do happen to get these two heroes that came out, then you're going to get some more eggs and some more goodies. Right, so that's that. Now let's go ahead, let's go into my hero pool and uh, show you the progress of my heroes. Because it's been a while since we've played Epic Summoners. So, first of all, I have managed to get my Night Daughter to 10 stars, which is unbelievable it's great i'm really really happy about it what's this we can move on this let's not talk about that for now but yeah so night daughter 10 stars i really really focused on her a lot as you knew i had a lot of the dark uh heroes you know the shadow heroes and uh that's why i went with that uh hydra my second you know best hero he's not really that close the 10 stars I need another Hydra, so yeah, he's not really that close, or she's not really that close, so I got a good amount to go for her, Captain Hook, he's on his way, I got a 6 star hero there, uh, I got 3, I can do 3 of those there, and then I just gotta get a 6 star Captain Hook, which is doable, so he's close, uh, my Phoenix is close to 9 stars as well, so I'm feel I, I have a good feeling that Phoenix might be my next 10 star hero, just because I have already have two of these, I can just make my uh, my panda into seven stars and so on and so forth. So maybe she will be my next one. And uh, these guys need a good amount left. So anyways, we are not here for them though. We are here for the new guys. So let's go ahead and take a look. Break down the Guardian F2. Uh, now, really quickly, we have the two heroes that were dropped. We got Guardian F2. And then we'll talk about the other one in a little bit. But let's just break down his abilities right now. Because I managed to get a good amount of them. Let's see. So I have one at six stars. So I got this guy at six stars already. Also, let's go ahead and take a look. I got another one here. Right? And if I finish the event, I'll have my fourth one. Which is pretty cool. Skeleton Defender is the other new hero. But three abilities. Skeleton Defender is only fodder, guys. You're only, you know, only using this guy as fodder to sacrifice that's all he's good for he sucks he's kind of like this guy right here the destroyer the same exact thing though just fodder um but this is where it's at right now guardian f2 he's a warrior and let's break down his abilities here so actually let's break down my six star one so you can uh, get a better deal of what his abilities are about so deals 220 damage to random one enemy has 75% chance to stun the enemy for two rounds. This is actually a really, really sick ability, guys. A stun ability is really, really good. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's a really, really high percent chance to stun, which is great. Now, when damaged, has a 60% chance to counter attack, dealing 65% damage. So that is also really, really good countering. That's extra damage. Each attack has 25% chance to stun for one round. And... When the hero dies, there is a 20% chance to stun enemies for one round. So as you can see, this guy is all about stunning. Uh, mainly an arena hero, guys. He's not good for your PvE. Only PvP is a great PvP hero. Um, but to be honest, I kind of like him a little bit more than I was, you know, than my tree dozer here. 
Trick Dozer is more about bleed, you know, dot damage, just causing damage over time. Uh, which is alright. Maybe better for PvE, you know, for bosses doing some more damage. I like this guy more for PvP with the stun. This can really help out in the battle. So, uh, to be honest, he is my new favorite dungeon hero here. And I really wanted to get this guy to 8 stars, but I'm already at 8 stars with him. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to wait to switch my Tree Dozer for the Guardian. Or keep them both. I'm not sure yet. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take some time for me to figure that out. But, yeah, so that's where the Guardian is at right now. And my team. So the team is still looking pretty tight. Uh, it just takes a lot of sacrificing, guys. Uh, also, I didn't uh, showcase this guy, the Paladin, who was last, you know, the last new hero. So let's talk about him a little bit. Because uh, he's also actually really pretty good. Inflicts 315 damage, percent damage to an enemy. And reduces its armor by 50% for two rounds. That is great for PvE. Really, really good. Increases heroes anti-crit. When damaged, increases all of our heroes attack by 2% for 2 rounds, stack up to 6 layers. That is really, really good PvE again. When alive on the battlefield, increase heroes crit by 5%. So, straight up PvE uh, character, guys. If you want to deal a lot of damage to bosses, if you want to do uh, a lot of damage pretty much all around, this is your man. PvE beast. Uh, so, it all depends on what you want to do, you know. Uh, if you want some stunning, Captain Hook is all about the stun. So that's kind of why I wanted the Guardian on my team. Because Guardian uh, with, you know, Captain Hook and uh, Oblivion Dragon here all, he petrifies, they stun. So it's all good for PvP. Because right now there's not that much, you know, there's really not that much PvE content in the game. Everything is PvP. You don't have too many um bosses that you really have to take down so that's why pvp is more important but i'm pretty sure eventually they'll add bosses to the game where the more damage you deal the better it is for you so that's when those other heroes are coming to play but right now pvp is where it's at all right guys so let's get into some real action now so i went ahead and i purchased some of the the eggs that i was talking about earlier so now i'm going to buy some more fruit the only problem is I can buy 21 and I am literally 49 away from buying one more because I'm going to need 22. So this is going to stink. It kind of sucks actually. <laughs> I'm one away from finishing it off, but I'm sure I can figure something out here. So let's see where we're at right now. Um, all right. So I got, let's see, let's summon him. Maybe I can create one more of these guys, get some more eggs. And that's the only way I'm going to do it. Um... Yeah, that's probably the only way I'm going to do it, guys. So let's take a look here. So let's open this free one now. In total, I only need 22. I need 22 fruits to finish the event. Uh, if I spend all on here, hmm. The, the problem is I actually want to get a few here for my Phoenix, finish her off. Maybe I can work on my Hydra here. Or Captain Hook. I kind of want to go a little bit on all around. But I'm going to get enough here until... Let's see, until I can get enough to get one more. Alright, let's see if I can summon those. Alright, let's summon these guys right now. If I can get one more of these guys, I will get 300. Let's see here, right? Can we do it? No, I can't! I need one. Oh, I need these guys right here. Oh, jeez, I got none. Because I have... Oh, yeah, I have plenty of them. So all I'm missing for is these... Those... Damn it. I just need... So I don't even think that's going to happen there. Unless I can just get lucky and get a Skeleton Defender. Or... The newer guy. No! Alright, let's go into the bag. Let's go right into the bag. And let's open these guys up right here. Uh, is that what I needed there? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I get it? It's only four stars. Damn it! Hmm. Alright, this is gonna be tricky here. Gonna get. I need to get a little bit of lucky. Alright, that might be it. That might be all I needed. Let's see. 
No! Actually, no. I, I need three star heroes. I don't know why I'm going to four. He's got to be a three star. No. All right. Can we get him here now? Uh, this is not the best way to do it. I'm not going to do it that way. Let's go back. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's not do it that way. Let's try to get some Phoenix here. Alright, I'm going to need a couple of Phoenixes. If not, those will do. My God. No. Alright, let's see where we're at here on the shards. Alright, so we can open up one Saint. Let's go. Phoenix! Yes! Alright. I got one Phoenix there. Let's see, can I fuse? Oh no, what am I missing? I'm missing one more. So I need one more Phoenix to be able to do it. All right, can we do it? One more Phoenix. I got seven pulls. One Phoenix, God damn it! No, it's not a Phoenix. No! No! All right, last one I'm gonna do here. You stink! All right, let's see if I can switch over here. This will be... Yeah, I guess I can do it this way. Uh, what should I sacrifice? One of these guys. Phoenix, now. One of them. I don't want to waste too much. No. Just a Phoenix. Oh. I really want to keep around 300 though, just, I'm not sure how the event is going to be. I'll take a Monkey King. Come on, Phoenix! Damn it, Phoenix. Oh my god, it's not going to happen. Last one. Alright, screw it. I'm not going to keep wasting material, guys. Better be patient. I'll just have to wait. I could... There is another way though, I could just, let me see. If I summon a Phoenix this way, because I have 121 of these, at least 37 to get Phoenix. Hmm. Do I want to waste it on him though? I mean, there's so many other possibilities that I can do here. I can literally summon like two, maybe even some more heroes. I've been saving those for a long time though, I don't want to... Now, I don't want to get carried away, guys. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to keep being patient a little bit more. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Because the goal is not to get Phoenix, really. The goal is to master the game. And I'm one fruit away. One fruit away. Fruit of the loom. You get 20 a day. I mean, if I wait till tomorrow, obviously I can get it. But I don't want to wait till tomorrow. I need it now. Uh, hmm. I could just buy this. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Let's just buy the spring gift. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and I did the purchase there, so we're down to the last one. Um, let's just go for the... Let's go for this one. Ah! Alright, so we're good. Let's go ahead, claim our prize here. Another guardian, and we're gonna get a red statue, which is really good. 50 more of those. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look here. So... If we summon our Guardian F2, we're going to get some more. Right, more eggs. Perfect. Let's go back to the event here. Hmm, let's see. So this is all set. We don't need that no more. Exchange. Now I got 300. We don't need no more fruit. Uh, my goal now is if I save 1,500, I can get one more, actually. Uh, or I can, if I save about 1,000, I can get a red statue. So... Don't know what's going to be better here, but let me actually try to get the statue as well. Let's take a look. This is a good showcase of the statues. Let's claim that. And let's see who we're going to put it on. And probably the most likely going to go on my night daughter, depending on what the statue is. So let's take a look here. Boom! Attack, 10%. Ooh. Let's go ahead. Let's upgrade this a little bit. Let's advance. It's going to be expensive and I'm down on my gold because I advanced another red statue. So let's go ahead and take a look. Dodge increase. That's not the best for this one. Skill damage increase. That's good. 
when about to be killed, give 60% chance to block 30% damage. All right, that's actually really good, guys. Uh, let's advance again. 12% attack. Dodge is going to increase. And now I'm on a gold, so I need way more gold to level this up. Okay. We're definitely going to put this on my night daughter. Now she is a beast. 79 total damage. 79,000. That is a lot. That's more than double my Hydra, which is my second best. That is insane. She has so much power. It's through the roof. Wow. So that's what I'm working on with her, guys. I need to... Well, definitely should upgrade this as well. Problem is gold, once again. Gold is very, very... Right now, it, it's gotten a lot harder, the gold. But yeah. So I've got a red on my Hydra. I got a red on that. Let's give this one to you, Captain Hook. Purple ones are not as good, guys. Green is better. Blue, yellow, purple. Pretty sure green, red, and orange. That's the sequence. All right, so we're looking good on those. We're looking good on that. I got a six-star guardian here. If I have more fodder, I could keep working on him because I got two more here. Or maybe I should have saved them because you can actually exchange an 8-star or above hero for another hero. So, hmm, maybe I jumped the gun on getting a 6-star one. Maybe I should have saved or just keep working on him a little bit. And then just get him to 8-star fairly quickly. Ah, that's going to be the trick, guys. So, that's where I'm at right now. Other than that, the event is over. Heroes are looking good. I need one more Phoenix to get this Phoenix there. Hmm. And maybe I should go ahead and just use up some of these for another Phoenix here. The Phoenix is not that difficult to get, so maybe I'm going to wait. You know what? I'm going to wait, guys. Uh, because I'm pretty sure when the event comes to use these, then I'm going to have nobody to really switch for. So Phoenix will be something to do. Captain Hook. So it'll get, it's going to give me a reason to use my uh, exchanges. So I think I'm pretty good right now where I'm at just more patience now so that's pretty much it for epic summoners guys this was a little bit longer video than normal and uh, like i said i'm incognito don't tell anybody i am here and i will catch you guys on the next epic summoners video to then keep on summoning everybody peace out